All right, now I want to share a little bit of John chapter 4. Now I want to encourage you to read the Bible. If you read a chapter a day, it takes about five minutes, and John chapter 4 is, is one of the great ones. So I would encourage you, you know, take five minutes to read one chapter a day. You could even read more than that. That would be great. But, man, if you just read one chapter a day, you're going to learn a whole lot. And you're going to go through the Bible very quickly. Okay, and, I mean, you'll spend two hours watching a movie about some college kids going to the beach. But you can't spend five minutes reading one chapter of the Bible. Uh, there's something wrong with your priorities, right? So let's read just a little bit of John. I'm not going to read the whole thing, just a little bit here. All right, John chapter 4, When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more than more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he must needs go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. And I believe the sixth hour is about noon. Somebody might want to correct me on that. I'm just curious. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am of a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink. Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. All right, so this uh, should be very eye-opening, shouldn't it? I mean, when Jesus is talking about the living water, he makes it very easy when he says, That I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So that water, again, is in Him. When you are born of the Spirit of God, the water, that living water, is in you, and you shall never thirst again. Right? Does that make sense? But whosoever drinks the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So if you could lose your salvation, you would thirst again, wouldn't you? But Jesus says, no, the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Once saved, always saved.